What is up everyone? It is DJ Martini Midwest Reviews coming at you with another video for my channel today. I have a really quick one on a silicon powered micro SD card that is a great value. I had one of my viewers bring it to my attention after I put my other silicon power SD card out and I think it's a great value. So I definitely wanted to bring it to you. I don't see a lot of videos out there on them and they're definitely a value and so far working really, really good for me. So thank you so much for tuning in. It's DJ Martini Midwest Reviews. All I like to do is help put some information out there on some of these products, valued items, do all the research for you, give it to you as easy as possible, and then leave some links in case you're interested in some of the products I talk about. Thank you so much to all my subscribers uh, for all the details and you know feedback and everything. Thank you so much. Let's keep building my channel and thank you so much for doing that. All right, let's get into the video. So this is what they were talking about here and I thought it was a great value too, so I went and picked one up as soon as I saw the comment uh, from that viewer, thank you so much. And it is the Silicon Power Micro SD card. Here is the package right there. The 3D that I was using from also from Silicon Power, it was a 512 gig, it was a 3D, it was an A1 performance for apps. This is definitely an upgrade to that and these are currently only $87. I'm gonna go through Amazon really quick and see some prices on one terabyte micro SD cards and this one is gonna blow away most of those cards and still have the same performance as most of those as well in my opinion and it's working really really good I have been using it in my Steam Deck this is the other one that I had here SP A1 3D right there that I did a complete review on and also talked about speeds and all that kind of stuff, some stuff about SD cards as well. I did that on that video, so check that I'm out. I'm not going to rehash all that information. I just wanted to put this one out here for sure. This is the Superior, and like I said, it is a one terabyte for $87, okay? And I did already test it in the Steam Deck. I was getting really good speeds. I did, when, when I was transferring information from that 512, to this card, I was getting speeds up to 80 megabytes per second, which is what it is rated for. It, it was doing really good. I was consistently getting speeds between 68 to 58 megabytes per second on uh, transferring information on the right speeds. Uh, I transferred 227 gigs from my 512 to the one terabyte and it took about one hour to complete that which i think is pretty reasonable actually uh, to, to transfer that information uh, it is the new superior that i'm talking about right now is the a2 upgrade for the app performance so it is basically in the easiest terms that i can it is going to increase some of your write speeds your read speeds and your performance overall now it's not going to be huge differences uh, compared to the A1, in my opinion, maybe seconds, maybe one or two seconds. But if you're really a big fan of performance, it is an upgrade from the A2 uh, to from the A1. So something to think about. You can still pick up uh, uh, A1 for $79. That is a one terabyte from the uh, Silicon Power Company here. I will leave links for that. I will leave links for the Superior a two card that I'm talking about right now for $87. So it really is only not even 10 more dollars. So you might as well get the A2 in my opinion. But if you you know want to save a couple dollars, the A1 was still working really, really good. And like I said, that was the 3D uh, model. So Both of them are really, really good. You can pick up, you can still pick up that 3D A1 card for $30. And $30, that is really cheap yeah. for a 512 gig SD card. The performance is really good in my opinion, and it's very comparable to you know ScanDisk, Samsung, the Sam Samsung Evo. I did a lot of tests uh, in that other video, so check that video out, but it was very, very consistent with those particular models, including the Gigastone, Samsung, and the ScanDisk Extreme and Ultra. So. This silicon powered uh, SD card is really good and I'm actually really appreciating what it's doing, especially a one terabyte for under 
$90. All right, everyone, so, so I'm gonna go ahead and take you to the computer screen. Let's go check out some prices on Amazon on these cards, just in case you don't believe me, that these are huge savings and that you're not gonna find too many other cards that are the same price. And I just searched micro SD card one terabyte, and we'll go right here. So you got your Gigastone, uh, this is an A1 card. It's $128 for an A1. The Superior is an A2 card, but you can see $128. A Scandis Ultra is $107. That is pretty much a really a value too, so that would be another option for you at $107, but still $107. In Extreme is $128. These are still this this Ultra is still an A1 card, but I've had pretty good luck with those as well. But here's that Superior right here. The one terabyte superior, it's an A2 card, it is $87. This is a good value. There's a Gigastone 512 for $54. Here is the A1 superior for $79, which is a value two. Good. Like I said, I still have had good luck with the A1 cards. Samdis Extreme Pro, it's an A2 card. It is a good card. I have had one of these cards. It is $150 though. So I would be very careful on any of these other cards that are extremely just smart cards. They are definitely Chinese type clones of some of the cards. Be careful if you see it, uh, it doesn't say Scandis and it just says an Ultra card. I would not buy that card either. That is a clone that is not a very good clone in my opinion. This is an Amazon Basics card, which is still one of a more expensive card that is $160. The Gigastone, $159. Uh, Samsung Pro 512 and the Evo Select as well, 47 and 49 dollars. So definitely a value for the silicone power cards. 87 dollars, one terabyte. Like I said, if you want the A1, you can save a couple dollars at 80 dollars. They still have the 3D2 as well. You can see right there. We can look at some of their other cards they here. They compare them to the basic cards. A 512 is still $76. And this is one terabyte for 79 Reviews as well, if you look up the reviews, these cards, they have 5,000 reviews at almost 4.7 out of five stars. So these cards are working. You are getting good speeds out of them. Uh, let me see if I can get right here. A 512 A1 for $29. That is an extra $30 for a 512 gig SD micro card. That's a really good value compared to any of these cards here, and they are working really good in my Steam Deck. You know, it definitely beats anything out there. Uh, that's not just a uh, no name card that, you know, I wouldn't think about. So, so far, the silicon powered cards have worked very good for me and uh, I think you should check them out. That was so. a really quick just overview. They are very similar to other cards as the ScanDisk, Gigastone, Samsung, Evo. Very, very good cards. All those are good cards, but the value here is with the Silicon Power Cards. $89, one terabyte for the A2. $79, the A1 still works very good in your Switch. Both of those, the A1 or the A2, work very good in uh, my Steam Deck, my Switch. Very good cards so far, a reliable card for me. I would recommend going with the A2. It does have better write speeds, read speeds, and better performance overall for apps. Also, I would still recommend the Silicon Powered 3D 512 gig as well. It worked. That's the first card that I was using in the Steam Deck. It was working fine, was working very comparable to the Samsung 512 Evo card that I had as well. So, very good card as well. And that 512 was only $30. So, those cards are, are working. They have tons of reviews. You can check them out on Amazon as well. So, I'll leave links for all these cards. Please like, subscribe, share. Just wanted to bring them to you if you want to save some money and still have a decently reliable card that I've been using for a while now. I can't talk about overall longevity, but so far so good. I am pretty happy with the response of these cards. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been DJ Martini Midwest Reviews and Tutorials. 
Please like, subscribe if this is helpful at all. Give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share, and we'll catch you on the next video.